Mario Karting it up. You don't see that every day. They literally Mario Karted through Shibuya. <laughs> what the f that is dope. Sometimes I feel this isn't where my home is Damn the way you treat me makes me think that I'm homeless Instead of open arms I get a closed entrance The cold shoulder before I even utter out a sentence You get enough support but can't support me What's up y'all? It's Kenyo here uh, Me and Mr. Composition We've been out here in Japan for about four days now I'm not even trying to do the math because we are tired We spent all day um, walking around Shibuya today. We started at actually Ikebukuro. So I gotta let people know, like, scale to fit, like, how big these buildings are. Where, where, where are we at, Kenyo? We are in Ikebukuro. For those of you who don't know, that's a neighborhood in Japan. And we are. At Ikebukuro Station building. Wow. That's being constructed. We're in Tokyo, guys. <laughs> in Tokyo. Wow. I hope this is exciting. Is this a mall it's exciting or for us. We, the different levels of expansion um, and what it means to be, you know, an artist, entrepreneur, growing themselves and meeting people in different areas. And um, this has been a huge level up for us. You know, you can only imagine. We're thousands of miles away in a completely different time zone, 11 hours, some more than an 11 hour difference. Um, we're recording this right now and it's like uh, late on Monday here, but it's like early morning Monday. Yeah. 2 a.m. Yeah, it's almost they just finished Sunday. We were waking up. Everyone else was experiencing the afternoon from the day before. We happened to meet, and this is how you know you're doing stuff correctly. We did Airbnb for the first four days of our trip, and we met a guy who actually owns his own co-working space here in Japan. And that's where we were originally going to stay, but the room wasn't ready. So now we're we're staying at a bar that he owns called Isaiah on the second floor he has a room there that I guess he doesn't stay in yeah and so we're staying there it's really cool <laughs> super dope uh, we're literally paying ten dollars a day for both of us um, there's no Wi-Fi but that's literally five dollars a day for each of us to stay in Japan yeah well, for real five dollars a day <laughs> <laughs> it's like so it feels cool to be in the future um, having a lot of fun yeah, yeah. I know, Comp, you've been feeling some super expansion stuff, so. Man, so we're right now, we're in North Village, um, a dope little shisha hookah spot on the, um, by Shibuya Crossing, and yeah, we have been having an amazing time. Lots of, um, lots of there's going to be a lot of unpacking. Like, it's literally, like, where you see the little the cube little shirts like literally that's like what's about to happen where we rip that cube open and all these ideas come out it's super dope um yeah i mean this is amazing uh expansion tour japan like we're in tokyo <laughs> so it's it's pretty dope what's a pokebot store oh man I'm gonna get a picture of uh, in front of the, the big ones with a Pokeball. Gotta get your book translated to Japanese. Right, exactly. That's the next. I think this is what it, this this trip was to be like. You know? There's ideas right. of illusion. That was dope. There's like stuff that is not even existing in the U.S. There's so many ways of life and the culture here is super amazing it's really quiet really quiet uh clean um you know it's just been an amazing adventure and right now we're just posting up literally we've been on our feet all day last couple of days just stomping it out stomping it out so yeah this is expansion tour make sure you go to project forward.tv 
slash expansion. Miss Composition MC that writes fiction and Kenyo here leveling up. And we always appreciate y'all's support. Shooting a music video today, any day now, like, whew, amazing stuff. Yeah, we're super low key, just trying to get some time to relax. We're gonna chill here. We found this really cool um, hookah cafe slash Wi Fi spot. These are the kinds of places I always look for when I'm traveling because I, you know, I like the touristy stuff, but you need to be able to find the place that feels like your apartment. And for better or for worse, this feels like my apartment. <laughs> this is how I like to chill. I'm editing some videos, so check those out probably drop a video in about an hour here so by the time you watch this it's gonna be a fresh new video for you to watch on the expansion page the link that mr composition said i'm not gonna say it twice because i don't want to be ex accused of overselling um but uh, i'm glad that you're watching i hope you enjoyed the footage that we throw up here in japan i hope you enjoy everything that we do because um i mean we put a lot of work into figuring out you know what you guys would like and what you would like to see and i mean really it's not about you <laughs> because it's more about you know like figuring out how we can grow our business and stuff like that but we feel like by letting you guys follow it and letting you showing you how there's like this cross between you know lifestyle and business like when you're being super authentic and you're really looking for yourself that's the best way to do it and that's all we do we we we, we focus on you know trying to grow ourselves um the way that we like we'd like to see ourselves back at it man Yo, expansion tour <laughs> oh man japan is super duper awesome and you know what i'm just happy because i've always wanted to go to japan like, my entire life and i know why japan is the country of lifestyle in the future um and speaking of the future you know like there's no greater future than the future you you know like you can go through six years and and you know still not get to who you want to be or you can make you know huge level ups in yourself in three days and the expansion tours are always like that huge gigantic level ups inside of ourselves and so we're walking around the streets the stores we go to it's stuff we love but it's all also stuff that you know we think we can make work off of and comp um you know epitomize that shot a music video in a bunch of places he was excited the entire time and he shot a music video um with some graffiti here in japan You know, it's not like we went to like the Gucci store and you know, in these in the 500 million malls that are here, and now we went to the we went to the places that we like. No matter where you go in Japan, we came here because forever, you know, this is the spot. This has been the place, and we're out here. And tomorrow we got the show in Nagoya. We'll bring you that footage still this week. And if you guys think it's easy to do all this stuff, it's not. It's grind forever, you know. Um, even to get this video to you, man, we, we spent like two hours just walking around knowing you think people in Je in Je everyone around the world speaks English? They don't, son. So we had to figure out how we could get, you know, the different stuff we need for the computer so we can put the videos together. So it's hard. And people get discouraged, but it's like, that's why you need to be doing something you love because when it sucks... It kind of really sucks, and it, it would be easier to quit, you know? It would be easier to just be like, we're in Japan, let's have some fun, but um, then we'd also die of starvation. <laughs> but not really, because you guys are always there supporting us, and we want to throw more. Thank you so much. I haven't put the thank you video up that we recorded yet. We recorded one on the plane, a thank you video, and we shouted out, um, you know, everyone who... I'm going to do it again, just because, you know that one i don't know when it's gonna get out but shout out to uh everyone who came out to the composition the one that we had in san antonio um san antonio family shout out um, um the day before we left we literally left from there we were driving man i can't even get to the amount of traveling like you have to love it i wouldn't do this for anyone for any amount of money someone could be paying me like 
15 grand a month and i'd be like you want me to do what over how many days nah <laughs> you're on your own <laughs> uh, i quit give me my severance package and these lollipops on the desk <laughs> and i'm taking the stapler but when you love it you can do it and um so shout out to everyone who came out though to that composition to help support us everyone who's been supporting mr composition all the people who've been supporting me through all my antics um working closely with us in the last few days mt dom williams the whole fiercely supporting squad high two squad um trill links um frankie michelle um miss michelle you know you did especially for us it was huge we appreciate it so much oh you, you it's cool where this is laid back um but um thank you so much to everybody and um yeah 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 you got some other shout outs you want to do i know we want to shout out um kwanzaa kwanzaa dropped uh some really cool stickers for us and i got some san antonio's very own shirts with me and i also have um some vibe head products and some uh what do i have what do i have uh mastermind art and jewelry and some arw collection stuff anyone else come Oh, no, I think that's it. Uh, we still got, this is the only battery we have, so. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, Lena C, everyone, uh, you check out the Instagram. I shout it out everybody. <laughs> Get, yes, yeah, scroll the power together. Um, yeah, thank y'all all. We're going to shut this off because we got, this is the only battery we got. We still got to get back. So, push, push. Also, we're going to have a whole bunch of fun tonight. So I don't want to make you think that we don't have fun. This is about to be fun. We're chilling. And shout out to, what's your name? Mizuki for the super cool shisha. <laughs> North Village. We had to come to the spot that felt like home. And he had the spot. He didn't know we were coming, but he had the spot. And it feels like home. So shout out. <laughs> if you're ever in Shibuya, stop by North Village. Get the shisha and the Wi-Fi. All right. <laughs> anyway, see y'all later. Sometimes I feel this isn't where my home is. Damn, the way you treat me makes me think that I'm homeless. Instead of open arms, I get a closed entrance. The cold shoulder before I even utter out a sentence. You get enough support, but can't support me. This